Hey guys, welcome back. It's gonna be a fun video because uh, in this video, I'm going to showcase my plus four coronar. Because if you guys watched my previous video, uh, I pulled 700 ancient shards and got um, two skinwalker dupes. So uh, I had five coronar and I put them in faction guardians, but now I just removed them from faction guardians. I was able to empower my coronar. I think not many players in this game I have a plus four coronar, so it's definitely gonna be a very exciting video. And plus, I have a plus two, a Minaya. So this is actually a quite old champion by this point because um I think he was released same day as CV Rodos. And the funny thing is, this champion was not uh, as strong as CV Rodos, but he actually received a. I, I think it was a very big nerf because the, this A one um used to decrease ten percent enemies turn meter and they just play room just nerf it by half and make it 5% I completely don't understand why they nerfed this champion but I think this champion is still very solid so A1 is decrease turn meter and AOE hit A2 is place provoke and some buffs on himself the A3 is place uh, decrease attack and increase uh, decrease defense on the enemy AOE and the passive is uh, in this video I'm obviously I'm going to use this champion with Minaya so Minaya is always going to be on the team, so this champion is always going to counterattack. And the passive is uh, place 60% increased defense if this champion kills an enemy. This is whatever, to be honest. So, if we think about this, if Minaya is on the same team, he just counterattacks like crazy. And that's the main usage of him. Um, with that being said, I honestly don't really care about Warlord put my skill to cooldown, because all I need him to do is just A1, non-stop A1. So, anyways, let me show you guys my gear for both Coronar and Minaya. Um, so here it is, plus four Coronar. Um, I think it's not like super amazing build because I have to gear this champion in a taunting set. This is the best gear set for Coronar. Like, I think stun set also works, but it's just not even close compared to taunting set. So I have to uh, sacrifice sacrifice some stats because. I don't farm Ice Gone that much. I really don't have very strong uh, taunting set. So I'm even using a speed boots. Because I don't really have a good HP percentage boost on, uh, for my taunting set. And I'm using a rare 6 star uh, chest plate on him. So with my team setup, uh, with my team setup, I have to be a little bit careful. I'll explain later. Uh, I'm not like going all in on, on his HP because um I have to use Necro with this champion. Um, I think yesterday I tested the champion going against an offense, uh, going against a baseline Tronda in Platinum Arena, and he just got one shot. And he has like, I think yesterday he has like 130,000 HP, and he just got one shot by a baseline Tronda. So I have to adjust his gear a little bit. Uh, I, I made Minaya. Uh, have more HP than this champion, so Necrit is gonna protect him. Make sure he gets, he will not get one shot because I really don't have good Skinwalker reaction ac accessories. Basically, just high HP, the speed, uh, because I don't have reaction ac uh, accessories, speed doesn't really matter. I, I, there's no need for me to gear him very, very slow, and obviously, full crit rate and very high crit damage. For the mastery, I went with Helm Smasher and Support Tree. Because I think for the defense tree, he already counterattacks every time he gets hit. So I don't think it's necessary to go with defense tree for the counterattack. I'd rather go for the support tree and give some uh, give him some extra accuracy. And this one is really good. And the uh, evil eye is really good. Alright, so that's basically it for the gear for my coronar. I'm not sure if this is the world's strongest coronar. Uh, probably he is because not many players in this game have a plus four corner and now let me show you guys my minaya here so this is my minaya uh, again um like i said before super tanky i geared her with um all act us uh, hp percentage bottom pieces chest plate hp percent boost hp percent a lot of hp percent i want to make her hp to have more hp than my corner so my necrot is always going to protect corner um, because um, Void Affinity sometimes it's not a good thing, it's not a good thing, right? He just easily got one shot by, by Tronda, by baseline Tronda, so uh, I gear Minaya in a Star Wars set. Obviously the team I'm going to showcase is going to be a Ghost Second team. There's no reason to build this team super fast. 
Mina actually has a solid skill kit. I wouldn't say she's like top top tier, but sh her skill kit is decent. Like heal her all allies by 40% of max HP. Like in an HP team, this is very very good healing. And um, um, place a block debuff. Well, for the champion under in increased defense, this is a little bit um, difficult condition, but you can always pair these champions with an increased defense champion. For the passive, just uh, revive the champion when she's killed. And good thing is she's force affinity, so Tronda won't be able to one-shot her. The A2 is heal 10,000 HP. It's a little bit weird. And heal reduction is whatever, because usually you're not going to build this champion with accuracy. So this is probably not going to hit land. And the, the A1 is actually really good. Just um, attack one enemy, place continue heals. For the mastery, I go with... Um, Timely intervention because I feel like the rest of the mastery here are not really that useful here because on my team I already have a champion with bulwark that is necrot so yeah that's pretty much it all right now um let me just showcase this champion uh, actually let me just showcase it in dragon first like these two champions can easily solo dragon twenty five easily well it's not solo. You can easily just two champion this Dragon 25, and maybe it's gonna take some time. And right, let me just show you guys how they um, defeat one wave real quick. So I, I don't want to make this video too long. So just going against one wave, and I'll quit. Like look at this, just non-stop provoke. Alright, non-stop provoke. <laughs> so it, it kind of takes forever, but if you think about this He's like this duo is actually really amazing in doom tower You just control the wave like crazy. Maybe let me show you guys uh, one more fight in doom tower and I'll let, let, Then I'll do some arena fight. So Let's go like Let's go like um, This and uh, I can do a defense up uh, let me use a defense up champion. Maybe go like this. All right, this team can control the wave like crazy. Let's see here. All right, they have a Valk, so it's a little bit annoying here. I blocked their deep, uh, blocked their buffs. Come on, corner, get some turn. It just controls the wave like crazy. I know it's not that fast. But I, I don't have to manual at all, so that's a good thing. Look at this, look at all these debuffs on the, uh, on the enemy team here. <laughs> look at that. Just control them like crazy, right? So um, I guess that's it, I don't wanna uh, spend too much time on the PvE content. Let's just get into arena here. Alright, I actually put this team up on my defense. I come up with a defense team like this. Um, I mean, the win rate is not that impressive. I think it has around 30% win rate, but I just got hit like crazy. Everybody sees a team that doesn't have a Duchess, doesn't have an Arbiter. Everybody, everyone just start to hit me like crazy, alright? So, um, the team uh, synergy is uh, Necrot is gonna protect Coronar because he has less HP than any other champion here. And uh, for my uh, Harvest Jack, what I need is actually his passive. So let's say if Tronda has an uh, enemy, Tronda has a immunity buff. He hits me in immunity buff drop for one turn, and uh, his passive proc, so the immunity buff is gone. Then um, Coronar start to counter attack and just constantly control them that's uh, my idea so I think it works okay maybe I can show you guys uh, one battle with this team later anyways let me uh, let me show you guys the arena offense thing I come up with my corner Minaya combo right so uh, one team you can use as your offense team is like this um, you can use one damage dealer and Obviously, Necrot is gonna protect this damage dealer, right? And honestly, I don't really care if Warlord put my skill cooldown. It doesn't really matter. Uh, in this case, if they have a Warlord, let me just use my very classical strategy here. Herndig. 
Is he fully geared? I don't think he's fully geared. 87% crit. Let me gear him and be right back. Alright, so um, let's see what happens here. Obviously, they are gonna put my skill cooldown, but that's actually fine. Stone skin necrit. Alright, start to counterattack. Let's provoke an arbiter. That's good. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Herndeck gets a turn. Let me one shot arbiter here. Alright, not enough damage, but that's fine. If I one shot arbiter here, I will just uh, reset my skill cooldown. Alright, look at that. Look at that. This team is actually really, really good against uh, those fast hedge team. I will show you guys in a bit. All right, 40 seconds, really not that bad. All right, so I'm trying to find those um, fast hedge team. Definitely not Romantu. Romantu just uh, counters these champions with crazy passive, right? So absolutely not going against Romantu. Let's try this one. I'm going with a, a Leorus here. So let's see what happens. I think this team works very well against, um, wait, wait, my game just crashed. What? My game just crashed. All right, so uh, let's let's go uh, let's go in there again. All right, I'll just let them put my skill cooldown. It's really not a big deal. Look at these counter attacks. Keeps counter attacking, counter attacking. Look at their HP. It could it's, it's probably a good thing for Leoris. All right, that's not a strong enough Leoris. Alright, keep counterattacking. Look at that. Let's keep it going. Just A1 non-stop. And that's it. <laughs> Kinda funny, right? <laughs> Kurna died, but that's fine. I just finished him off. Like I said, I think this team is really good going against those um hedge teams. Like it it doesn't work very well if the hedge team is like super super tanky. If they have like of Sifi, Duchess, and the Ursuga, those type of hedge team, it's probably not gonna work because uh, not enough damage. But those type of hedge team is not very tanky, so we can give this, we can give this team a try. Let's see what happens. That's a new king hedge. That's fine. I'll just provoke them non-stop, literally non-stop. Look at that, all the provokes. Let's keep it going. Just keep a one. Ooh, that's scary. Candy phone does a lot of damage. That's fine. Keep counterattacking, keep counterattacking. All right, Leo Rest gets a turn. Let's keep it going. Necrit is going to uh, protect uh, Corona next. All right, that's uh, that's no problem here. Let's just keep counterattacking. All right, look at that. <laughs> look at this strategy. All right. Let me see any other hedge team I can try. Like I said, absolutely um, no Romantu team. Alright, <laughs> absolutely no Romantu team. Um, Alright, let's try this one. I I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Let's see, let's see here. Probably not. They put me to sleep. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's probably not gonna work. Not a good idea here. Ooh. No. Um. Who should I kill? I'm kill Sifi here. No. All right, all right, all right. That's a bit of issue because my coroner got one shot. That's really a thing. Coroner. Sometimes being void affinity is not that a good thing. All right, let's try this one. Um. Maybe try to use a Rodos here. I think that's fine. Let's see here. Let's just put it on auto. See what they can do. No prov no provoke yet. Look at that damage. Alright, let's keep it going. Kinda annoying, this team's really really tanky. Like that's why I said like 
it's probably not a good idea going against a very tanky team because it's take, it takes way too long. I Korra died. So I guess that's it. Uh, let me see if I if I can use Rodos to save the fight here. The world's strongest Rodos here. No! Alright. It's gonna be clutch. Uh what should I do here? Let's do this. Extra turn? Alright, no extra turn. That's probably fine. Saved. It's gonna be saved. <laughs> Alright, get me out of here. Saved. Alright, let me see if I can find any other teams. Like, if those teams have immunity buff, it's a little bit annoying. So, alright, let me let me see. Um, let me show you guys the team I'm talking about. I I go I go in like this, right? So on this team setup. Necrit is gonna protect um, Coronar because uh, my Harvest Jack has very high HP. My Harvest Jack is in a 4 pieces stone skin set and decent accuracy. Wait, what? Something's going on again. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's just uh, keep it going. That's scary here. Maybe I have to adjust my HP a little bit. I don't know why uh, he's not protecting Coronar here. Let's just let's just A1 here. Like Minaya is gonna heal like crazy. Alright, look at that. It doesn't matter what type of debuff they put me or put my skill cooldown, all I'm doing is A1. Literally, all I'm doing is A1. Alright, so let's try this team again. Uh, I did some gear adjustment. It should be HP tuned now. My Necro should protect Corona here. Alright, that's good. Let's see what happens here. Start counterattacking. Look at that. Just provoke like crazy. Let's keep it going. It just slowly kills them. Look at that. Alright. <laughs> they got revived, but that's fine. That's actually fine. I'll just keep counterattacking. Like, this is my defense team, alright? So. And it works well on offense against those um, squishy teams. Um, let's see if I, if we can do anything else here. I will try to avoid those cardio teams. Let's try this one. Just going in there, uh, full auto. Let's see what happens. So, um, Coronar is lowest HP, right? So, the A1 Hedge is always gonna target Coronar. Ooh. Probably not against a... Probably not against a, um... Uh, Moru Macav. Alright, Moru Macav just blocks revive. Let me try to find any other team here. Alright, let's try this one. This probably is a very strong team. But I don't think that Trona can one shot me. I don't think so. Let's do this. Just put it on full auto. Look at that, just provoke non-stop. Alright. With my necro protection, Corona is not gonna die. Alright, they all have uh, immunity buff, so it's a little bit annoying here. Ooh. Let's keep it going. I think I can still win this, it just takes a while. Alright. 
So yeah, maybe let me do one more fight. Uh, then I'll just then I'll just call it a day, I guess. Let's try this one. Not sure if it's gonna work. Uh, let's see what happens. Wait, that's an A1 Hedgy? Kind of interesting here. Well, it's probably gonna take a very long time. Let's see what happens. <sighs> I'm gonna target Duchess, otherwise it's gonna take forever. Look at that, super annoying, non-stop provoke. Can I kill this Duchess here? Like the only reason Harvest Jack is in a team is because he's passive. He actually has a really good passive and each time enemy hit him, their debuff duration got reduced by one turn. It's really good uh, passive. That that just finally died. All right, candy foam uh, killed my necro. That could be a thing here. I really need to kill this necro ASAP because that candy foam is too strong. But my Minaya heals heals like crazy. And with with a stalwart set, she's not gonna get one shot by AOE attack. It takes forever. But I mean, this is my defense. Just get me out of here. Look at all these debuffs, it's so fun to watch. Alright, I guess um, that's it for this video. I guess that's enough for the showcase. Overall, I think this team setup is quite interesting, especially if you want to use this team going against a hedge team, alright? Because uh, it doesn't really matter um, if he's on any debuff or his skill being put on cooldown, right? All he's doing is A1, A1 only. I think his nemesis is just Romantu. If if Romantu puts his passive to cooldown, then it's pretty much over, right? So uh, maybe it can be a very good offense team. Um, maybe uh, I'll have to find other champions that works really well on this team. Um, it, it, I feel like it, it could kind of work like a Mortal Macab strat. So basically, you're going against a let's say a fast hedge you warlord team and you just a1 counterattack them provoke them non-stop it may take like a minute but i think it's quite consistent if they don't have a super super strong damage dealer right so yeah i guess uh, that's it for this video i hope you guys find it interesting and i'll see you guys next time bye Thank mm -hmm. you.